people seem to like my butt photos. <laughs> Maybe I should do more of that. Now that I've seen the world of corporate camming, I wonder what the indie scene is like. So I'm going to meet up with a successful independent cam girl named Ona Artist, who's known for her sweet girl next door look and more importantly, her bot, which has over 1 million followers. This is my famous toys on a peach. It's about the curves, it's about the ass. Yeah, that's nice. Good. My name is Ona Artist and I have a really big Instagram and I am an artist, a musician and model. What are these photographs for? They're for all for my Instagram. And the goal is to get what I call Instagram classics. Good. Photos that like really pop, that like really hit the algorithm really well. Did you have a sexy Instagram before you actually started selling cam sessions? Yeah, I had a photo on this page called the butt blog. And um, that was a big turning point for me because I like suddenly had like Ha, like 5,000 new followers, like my follower count doubled in a day when they posted my photo. And I was like, hmm, people seem to like my butt photos. <laughs> Maybe I should do more of that. Right now I have over a million followers. And basically I just use my Instagram to market. It's like my advertising. Can people also pay to individually cam with you? Yes, so it's all sort of structure that like, if you want more, you pay more and you get more. So basically, Ona capitalizes on our digital addiction to Instagram and Snapchat to boost her visibility. Once you fall in love with her free pics, you'll obviously want a stronger fix. And that's when you have to hand over cash to see her nude photos. Or go for the VIP option, a FaceTime striptease with Ona one-on-one. -on -one. Do you make enough money doing this that this is your job? Yeah, it's, it's a pretty good living. I'm really pleased with it. And what are the repercussions? I mean, I haven't tried to get any other job, but I'm sure I couldn't. Um, you know, I'm pretty much like always going to have to be self-employed, um, but hopefully that won't be a problem. Um, and I've also had issues with my family. It's been a big process of like working through and for a while it, it wasn't so good and I wasn't talking to a lot of them. So all because of an ass photo on Instagram. Yeah, but that's why I think it's important. That's why like yeah. have to like come out and be really confident. Yeah. Just like normalize it. Yeah, exactly. Totally. Okay, so next what you should do is click the link in my bio, and then you can join the full party today on this beautiful Monday. I think that a lot of people, when they end up on Instagram models pages that are big, tend to not quite realize maybe how much work goes into it. So I work completely independently, and I have from the beginning. I build my own websites, I self-host them, and so I keep all the money, it all goes to me. Wow, being a cam girl is a lot of work randomly. After spending time with Ona, I have so much respect for her slutty industriousness. I think of cam girls as the rock and roll stars of our day. Just saying like, I'm gonna fuck you to the mainstream and like, I'm gonna do what I want, I'm gonna make money and I'm gonna have fun, I'm gonna be sexual with my fans. Do you think that camming is the future of how people will consume pornography? Yeah, so I do think it's the future. I mean, I think it's already here actually. So if camming really is the future of porn, what does that mean for us? AKA the horny masses. 